Good morning, Axial Scale Builders around the world. It's your boy Josh, aka Coleman, and you are now watching Scale Wars, Axial's official Battle of the Builders. everybody i hope you're having a good start to your morning i know i am and uh basically it is eclipse weekend here in oregon and i'm sorry i'm doing this vlog style i don't know why i didn't feel like using the tripod today i just wanted to like maybe this is a little more personable i don't know let me know in the comments but it's eclipse weekend so oregon's a little hectic right now and uh i'm kind of happy to be in the studio but it's also really smoky outside because all the fires but uh i am Still eager to get out there. My wife is out in Madras right now, set up vending with her jewelry truck at one love underscore panabee. So go ahead and check her out on there uh, on Instagram. I'll leave it in the description if you guys want to. Um, pick your wife or somebody up some jewelry. Who knows? So anyways, you guys, we've got an awesome episode planned out for today. If you're new around here and you're wondering what this is all about, basically this is the official online ongoing competition for axial scale builders around the world. So if you have an axial based build, doesn't matter what it is, as long as it's axial based and all the rules for that, if you wanna know, are on my website, www.extremescaleperformance.com. And uh, you can slide over the Scale Wars tab, everything's right there. You can get the rules, you can submit your builds, uh, you can follow the scoreboard, all that good stuff. Um, however, but it's it, it's an ongoing online competition. There's no prizes, it's just for fun. Um, bragging rights, you know, you get a chance to show off your builds, you get a chance to show off your skill set, your whatever you do, you know, maybe you got some cool products you put on there, get a chance to show them off. So uh, there's also an opportunity to give shout outs. So you get a shout out whoever you want. You shout out your sponsors or your friends, your family, your wife, whoever, your kids, it doesn't matter. Uh, it's all for fun. This is kind of an all inclusive, interactive sort of show here on YouTube, and uh, I'm happy to host. It. So, anyways, that being said, you guys, let's go ahead and slide on over to the battleground, get into today's episode. Welcome back to the battleground, everybody. It's about to go down. First up, we have a builder by the name of Aaron Winnie. And before we get into his build, I just got to go ahead and give a disclaimer. Please don't hate on this gentleman. Unfortunately, uh, when he submitted his photos, the majority of them wound up being corrupt files that I was not able to use. And uh, I tried to write him and get his attention before I did this episode, but unfortunately I did not hear back from him yet. So uh, instead of DQing him, uh, what I decided to do is I'm just gonna go ahead and review the few pictures that I did get and um, hopefully he will resubmit with the rest of his pictures and maybe even an updated uh, submission after we go over it. So anyways, you guys go easy on the man. His score is gonna be low just because of that and uh, it really isn't because he's a bad builder, in fact, the only reason that I really decided to push it, even though he only had a few pictures, was because I actually really like this build. And I don't think it needs very much to just be amazing. So, um, all right, let's go ahead and get into it. So, this gentleman's name is Aaron Winnie, and uh, he is 47 years of age. He is from Rock Hill, South Carolina, all the way on the East Coast. Shout out to the East Coast. And then he says he has been subscribed to ESP for about four years. So he's an OG. He's been with it for a while now. Thank you very much for your subscription, Aaron. I appreciate that, man. It really means a lot to me. Um, so he started building RCs back in the 80s. We're talking 85, 86. And uh, this particular project that he built, he calls this one a rock candy. Now, as far as his detailed parts list goes, I'm just going to go ahead and rattle this off. It's fairly long here, but um, I... Pay attention here. He did, he did some pretty cool stuff. So he's got STRC links all around with RC four-wheel drive rod ends, wordy made stinger front bumper, hot racing HD trans gears, axial HD bevel gears front and rear, axial aluminum wheel hexes, exceed shocks, 110 millimeters with Russell, uh, Rustler Springs, uh, 10 weight oil, he says. And then he's got axial universal axle. What? 
Axi oh, okay. Axial Universal Axle. Sorry, I thought that said something else. High Tech uh, 7995 TG Servo with an aluminum horn uh, Spectrum DX3E radio. Castle Mamba Max Pro. Castle BEC. Holmes Hobbies Pooler Pro 540S Stubby. Uh, thir it's the 3300KV uh, version of that motor. Axial Light Bar. Custom handmade battery forward mod. Custom handmade styrene interior and fuel cell. Um, custom aluminum plating all around, custom fender wells, handmade snorkel, Fox exhaust and fuel pump, um, custom hubs, modified spawn body with opening hood, chassis has a fastback mod, rolling on RPN uh, rims and ripsaw tires, Krylon gloss white, Volspare flat black, Krylon smoke gray for the colors. And then uh, the build classification is obviously the crawler, uh, U4 bouncer classification, and on a scale of 1 to 10, he rates his a 5, so right smack dab in the middle. Now, as far as who he would like to give a shout out to, he says he'd like to give a shout out to, uh, well, I'll just read it verbatim here, he says, I would like to give a shout out to, well, he didn't say that actually, I'm just, he says, <laughs> he says, uh, my wife and kids for supporting me, local hobby shop, hobby stop, aka Grove, or aka The Grove, Axial and all the people that work hard to make Axial possible. Wordy made for making awesome parts. RPM for durable rims. Uh, Holmes Hobby and Castle for quality electronics. All my fellow RCers who make this hobby fun. And finally, ESP Josh for getting me interested in Scale RC. Awesome, man. I'm stoked I could get you interested into it. So, yeah. Thank you very much for showing that interest by submitting Scale Wars. I really appreciate that. Um, shout out to everybody there. Now, for those of you that have been sitting here staring at this, uh, if something looks familiar here, and you're, you know, you've been watching my show for a while, uh, you might recognize that stinger. I have that exact same stinger on my Grape Ape Wraith build. Huge, huge fan of that stinger. I love it. It is solid, man. So, all right, let's dig into this. Let's dig into this. Shout out to Wordy Made for making that stinger too. Um, so first impression, my first impression is I think this is beautiful, beautiful rig. I love that there's no hood pins. Uh, I love that he did the hood opening mod. I really like that he added this mesh. That mesh does not come with this, so that's a touch he added on there. I think that's awesome. This uh, toe hook right here. I, I, it's more like a thimble actually like a safety thimble or something for which I don't know but it looks like he's using it for a tow hook is perfect that's a genius idea it's right smack dab in the middle very useful mod um, I love that he painted I'm pretty sure it's painted because I don't think Axial makes uh, aluminum one of these or one of these that looks like that you guys can correct me if I'm wrong but it looks like he painted the edges of this which really just brought that stock housing to life I think that is awesome um yeah I'm, I'm just digging it the one thing i'm not liking is the uh servo on the axle there are some mods uh to get the servo onto the chassis there's actually some kits out there some, some uh wraith cms kits that you can use i think i even have one myself and uh that'll get that off there but i can't complain too much mine is in the same position right now so uh as is a lot of other people's um, how it, from so a lot of people may not know this, but back when Axial first came out with the Wraith, they left that on there to get rid of the bump steer. So yeah, and I, that may seem backwards or whatever, um, but really that's why it was there, if I remember right. So honestly, it's not a bad place to have the servo. It's just not scale, but eh, you know when you put it up in the chassis, you do risk gaining some bump steer if you don't have it set up just right and you I, I don't know maybe you could lose some uh steering radius i just some turning radius i do not know 100 percent for sure because i have not modded my wraith steering that far but uh that's the one thing that's taken away from the scale factor is that and the fact that the lights are stickers now if you had some real headlights in there and that and a cms kit Ooh wee, man, that would that would look good. That would look really good. But that's just my personal opinion there. Um, honestly, overall, I think it looks great. I love that instead of going for a light bar, you actually went for the light pods. That is awesome. Old school PIAA, just simple roll bar over the top. Just 
awesome. I love your homemade snorkel. I think that looks great. Color combinations, awesome. Uh, one thing I'm really, really liking is these hubs. These wheel hubs look spot on. Uh, that's one thing so many people miss. Um, I even am lacking on a couple of my rigs still, but I do try to put scale hubs on my rigs as much as like as much as possible. So yeah, definitely, definitely props on doing that. Um, let's see. Now here's the issue: is we're not going to be able to see the interior because it doesn't have any interior shots. So we're going to have to try to just see what we can see here. It looks like he's got some sort of custom mesh going on here in the back. I'm not sure what that's for, but it, honestly, I kind of like it for some reason. It, it reminds me of like a protection or something, maybe like a almost like a firewall sort of scenario, except for obviously the engine would be up front, but still maybe a, a mount system or a shield for the radiator, which actually it looks like it kind of is. That looks like he's got a hose right there. Maybe we'll be able to see it in another picture, but um, it looks good, man. It looks good. I'm not going to ramble too much. I like it. The rip saws look good. Honestly, I, I don't know what to say other than uh, just real headlights. Um, yeah, and a CMS kit. <laughs> other than that, it looks great. Oh, and there we go. Uh, getting some uh, brake disc would look awesome too. That would really bring that axle to life. So, Anyways, let's see what we got for the other pictures here because there's really only a couple of them. There's a motion shot just showing that it's really working, which is great, but we can't really make nothing out from there. I will say that it has, uh, has a pretty good stance, it looks like, to it. I mean, I don't know. It, it, eh, it looks good. <laughs> All blurry. <laughs> looks like he has fun with it. All right, next shot. Here we go. Underneath. Um, now we're talking. I like this. I don't see any wires. Wait, right there. Right there, I see a little wire right there, but that is it. Uh, anything else? Do I see any other wires? No, look at this. He's got uh, what looks to be... Uh, is that? Yeah, it looks like wire loom, but I can't really... Yeah, it is. It's wire loom, because look, right there, you can see a little bit of wire coming out. Smart move on the wire loom. I love that. Uh, shows that you've been watching the show and paying attention, or you just great minds think alike. Um, also, I like this. I don't know if you guys are noticing this, but this looks like exhaust coming out right here. That is really cool touch. Links are spot on, looking good. Everything just looks good. I love that you've got this all painted up with the axial sticker underneath there. That is just really cool. Everything looks really good, man. It's just covered properly. Oh, it just looks good. He's repping for RPM there. Maybe RPM will shoot him a sponsorship. I like it, man. I like it a lot. Well done. Well done. Um, not a lot to say, though. Obviously, you know, we can only see so much here. But my favorite part is that you have all your wires tucked properly. That That's proper. Everything looks good. You look at the bottom of this. I mean, it looks a lot like a real vehicle. So great job there. Great job. And there's the last photo we have from him. This is the man himself. Shout out to Aaron. I appreciate you entering. And why we have it on... Whoop, didn't mean to do that. Why we have it on here, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on this because now I can kind of see that hand-built interior because he did make mention that it was hand-built interior. And that is indeed a hand-built interior. That is not this factory Wraith interior. Uh, that looks awesome. He's got gauges. Those look almost like Deffy gauges. Uh, he's got ooh, a start... Is that a start switch, kill switch? Um, looks like maybe a navigation unit, more gauges. Man, awesome, awesome. Look at the mount for the steering wheel is proper. Everything's looking good there. And uh, yeah, what else can we see here? In the back, we can kind of see, this looks like either fuel cell stuff going on right here, or maybe radiator stuff going on but definitely something here's the fastback mod turned out awesome and that is an exhaust setup that he has coming out there that looks great yeah man you're killing it with this build i really like this one so awesome shout out to you aaron thumbs up right back to you buddy Thank you very much for submitting your build you guys go ahead give him some feedback in the comment section let him know what you think i know he's short on his pictures here but he, he he probably didn't even realize that was the case i just went to open the files and they're corrupt they would not open for me so i tried to write him get him to resubmit hopefully he will um 
if you guys want to enter and you want to submit your builds, you've got something really cool like this, or maybe you want some feedback on your build so you can make it cool like this, or maybe you think yours is even better. You want to go ahead and throw down, see if you can get a better score, then go to www.extremescaleperformance.com. Uh, slide on over the Scale Wars tab. Everything you need to know is right there. How to enter rules, regulations. Uh, you can go ahead and submit your build. The uh, sign-up sheet, everything is right there. And then you can also follow the score and see what everyone, including Aaron here, got for a score. Um, that being said, let's go ahead and move on to our next entry. All right, you guys, we've got our second builder of the day. This gentleman's name is Clay Morgan. He is uh, from East Sound, Washington, and he is 24 years of age. Looks like he's been subscribed to Extreme Scale Performance for one and a half years now. Uh, he started building RCs in November of 2015, and this particular project that he built, he calls this project Hellboy 2.2. Now, the detail parts and paint list goes something like this. It's an axial wraith cage, Vanquish V2 axle housings, all, hard, uh, all hardened gears, RC4 wheel drive, ARB front and rear red diff cover, 2.2 Pitbull growlers, Vanquish incision method 2.2s, uh, crawler innovations, tall single stage foam. Um, he says he's got Vanquish incisions, 10 piece steel wraith link set, Vanquish. CMS uh, CMS kit with pan hard bar, lots of lights running on a 1500 milliamp 9 volt nickel metal hydride pack tucked behind the seat, Mamba Max Pro, Teak and Rock 412 3100 KV, Holmes Hobby Servo, HV 500 3 cell, most of the time uh, custom Freaky Skins Tough Truck Tuesday Winter Wrap, okay, okay, um, uh, over aluminum panels. So apparently those are not the stock panels. And uh, RC DMV license plate and an ESP inspired sway bar setup. Ooh, all right, I'm curious to see how that looks. Uh, the last picture is my favorite ever, he says. My oldest son was pulling wheelies in a parking lot and this was the aftermath. We both were amazed and couldn't stop at one LOL. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'm sure we'll get to that picture in a minute. And then this build classification obviously goes Crawler U4 Bouncer, and uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, he rates it a 6, so he's pretty proud of this one. Um, well, it's not being, you know, conceited about it. He's still being fairly modest. So uh, as far as who he would like to thank or give a shout-out to, um, he says, first, thank you, Josh, for doing what you do. Well, thank you, sir, and uh, you are welcome. And he says, ne next to all three of my boys, Brandon, who is eight, uh, Junior, who is six, and Bentley, who is four years old, and then to his wife and uh, to my good friends who got me into the hobby with an AX10 Scorpion RTR, and to all suppliers who make great products. So uh, shout out to... Brandon's friends, shout out to uh, his wife, shout out to his boys, all three of them, and uh, yeah, man, shout out to you, Brandon, glad you're having fun with this, and uh, we're going to go ahead and pick your build apart now. <laughs> all right, so, ah, what are we looking at here? What are we looking at here? First off, um, pictures... A little blurry, but that's all right. We can see what we're working with. The incision wheels, I like. I got to say, those look pretty good. Um, you know, I, I, at first, I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about the incision wheels, and when they came out and I actually saw them in person, they're actually pretty nice, man. And uh, a lot of people were, you know, saying that because they're budget, they're not going to be as good as the methods or whatever. Um, honestly, they're not bad at all. I think they look great, and uh, they're really tough. I've not heard of anyone having problems with them yet. So, uh, good job to method. Now, as far as I can see here, it doesn't look like there's any scale hubs. So first thing I'd say is probably some scale hubs would make them pop and maybe some scale hardware as well. Unless that is scale hardware and I just can't tell. It's a little blurry there. Um, maybe we'll see in another picture. I like the lighting. All the lighting looks awesome. Love lights all over RCs. They look great, but they gotta be, you know, at the right time. And when it comes to these off-road buggies, you know, lots of lights is awesome that, that's plenty realistic lots of people in the real one one world put lots of lights all over their buggies so i like it uh rock lights are great interior lights are great having light you know external light bars or or spotlights or anything like that that's awesome i'm all about it now something i'm noticing is you have your name on this panel i think that is awesome that is super cool and i'm really stoked that those are metal panels it's just hard to tell obviously because they're wrapped so they could be anything but i'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt and we're going to assume that's what they are um 
Tires look good. They don't look that worn though. They look like they're fairly new still. Uh, stance looks nice. Everything looks good, man. I really like it. It's looking nice. Now, something I'm noticing though is your hardware here. You've got one silver screw. Silver. Well, you know what I mean. It, <laughs> uh, stainless screw here. And then you've got uh, the rest are all black. So, curious as to why that is. It kind of takes away from the look. It'd be better if it was black. And, oh, here you are missing screws straight away, dude missing screws which i'm sure you're aware of and uh we're looking at a bit of a rat's nest under here now this is not what i like to see when i look at these uh cable management shots um now it looks like you're trying to do something here but i can tell you as a guy who used to be a uh, certified mobile electrician mobile electronic certified professional um that that does not look too hot so what i would do is i would try to uh reestablish how you got your wires going there what i usually like to do is i just i unhook everything and i run it all the way you know that it's supposed to go just in a general direction and figure out like how long it's going to be I'll, I'll wind up trying to find a nice hidden route or i will see if i can connect it with all the other stuff and run one central um you know grouping of wires where it can all be put into a single loom uh, that's usually what i like to do and then put it in a loom get it nice and clean and uh if you use zip ties or twist ties or anything like that you know it, that's fine but just make sure you don't go too tight with them because you can actually cause some issues that way too so just some food for thought uh links look great i'm digging on the links uh the drive shafts are beautiful by the way love the super scale drive shafts um, and I am starting to see some ESP inspired sway bar action here. Now it's kind of hard to tell in this picture, but what he has here is rod end to rod end, right? And then a uh, pivoting point here to a longer um, like uh, link right here, this green link it looks like. And then basically that is gonna go most, most likely that's gonna go to a uh, uh, piece of spring still back here now I, we can't really see it from here but most likely that's what's going to be happening and pretty stoked on that axle looks like it is getting beaten dude i love that that is great that is that is really great i love to see a well-worn axle especially a metal axle um same with the front one look at that Woo-wee! that is getting smashed up dude looking good i like it a lot Definitely like it a lot. It looks like you have a, uh, is that a different shaft up front? Yay, nay. Can't really tell. That looks like an MIP almost up front, but I could be wrong. Um, all right, on to the next pictures. Interior shot. Nice. Fairly standard stuff going on here. Looks like it's a little out of whack, but that's most likely just from beating on the truck and uh, having all kinds of stuff shoved in there. But you could probably straighten that out a little bit. I'm not sure what that green... Th oh, that's probably a toe strap right there or something. Um, looking pretty good. There's not a whole lot to say from this. Just standard, standard, you know, Wraith interior here. Another one. Uh, somebody's drinking and driving. We're going to pretend that's root beer. That's a root beer, apparently. Or maybe that's like ginger ale. Um, kill switch or something back here. Nice. Not really sure what that's for. He might have mentioned it. Um, I don't see anything about it. He might have mentioned it, but I'm assuming that's going to be lights or something. Could be a master switch, though. And then, yeah, see, there's the toe strap that I was seeing. Yeah, it's looking pretty good, man. I like the stance. Not a whole lot to say. The wrap looks great. Um, I like the diff covers. You could probably add some more scale detail from what I'm seeing here, but uh, as far as scale detail, what I mean is like, you know, little things like maybe like uh, radiator action or some, I'm not sure where your lights are, if you've got any headlights in there or uh, what else could you do? It's something I never see people do that I would really like to see, and I am going to do it myself here. I'm actually working on it in one of my rigs, is having winch down setups. Like, I never see winch down. It, but on every real crawling competition I've ever been to, every time I've ever gone to a real 
competition, uh, buggy competition, rock crawling competition, whatever, there's always winch down. Like whether it's We Rock or what, it doesn't matter. There's always winch down. Like so many guys have winch down setups. Some of them have them front and rear. So I don't know. Eh, I would like to see something like that. It would be cool. Um, it's cool, man. It's slick. I like that you don't have any hood pins. That's awesome too. Let's keep going here. Got all kind of stuff going on here. Beef tubes, yeah. Freaky skins. This is the winning rap he said. So or Tuesday winner. That's pretty cool. Um, now this is apparently his favorite shot, and I can see a broken uh, factory locker there. Looks like he's done some damage before. He did say he's running like a big brushless motor. I think like a Rock 412 or something. I'm sure that's got plenty of power. All right, so. Um, the toys, ARB, ARB. I like that you actually have the ARB diff covers to go with the ARB stickers too. Um, like always, uh, some scale disc brakes would always be awesome. Um, not a lot to say, man. It's pretty much like a factory layout, just with a lot of uh, bolt-on upgrades that are really cool. And then he's got some uh, cool. Oh, there you can kind of see the, there. There you go. You can see the uh, sway bar action a little bit right there. That's cool. Awesome. I wish we could get some better pictures of the sway bar. I'd like to see that. And there we can see the wheels a little better. Um, it's looking good, man. Yeah, definitely not scale hubs on there. I, well, I was pretty sure they weren't scale hubs, but it would look good with some. Um, not too bad. Hood's open. Not sure why you got a wire hanging out there. It looks like it's maybe a receiver wire. Yeah, all right, all right. On to the next picture and looking good all the same stuff we've seen here um there we can still kind of see the sway bar set up i'm not sure how you've got that attached right there so on mine usually what i do is i actually bend this the spring still so my spring still is u-shaped and the spring still will come out this way and then it would lock in right here so that way it could go up and down, but it would be a little bit shorter. It'd be like somewhere over here. It just depends on how much flex you want to give it, you know. You can change by how short or long you make it changes how much uh, give it actually has, how much tension it has. But I I'm curious to know how, you, how yours is hooked up there. That's pretty cool. Maybe it's just pinched in with a uh, set screw or something. But either way, really cool. Really cool stuff, man. There he is. Shout out to you, Clay. Uh, this is, honestly, I think it's a good, oh, and there's, he's got his scale garage in the background. Sweet. Honestly, I think it's pretty cool, man. Um, the wrap is sweet. I think that uh, your upgrade choice is spot on. Um, this factory bumper, I would probably think about replacing that now. Uh, as you saw, the other one, the Wordy Made one looks awesome. There's a handful of guys that make cool stuff out there. I have the Wordy, one, Wordy Made one myself, so... Uh, maybe switching out your stinger would be a good move. Bring some more realistic uh, looks to it, I guess. And then, I mean, I know that that bumper is used in the real life one too, but, you know, just to switch it up. And then, um, yeah, I mean, it looks good, man. It really does. It looks good. There's not a whole lot I can tell you to do. Maybe get some accessories on there like a, a high lift jack or something, you know, some batteries, things like that. Scale accessories that you would actually see on a buggy. Uh, other than that, man, I think it looks great. And uh, honestly, I'd just like to see it on the trails. It looks like it would actually do some serious work. So, you guys, give them some feedback in the comments. Let them know what you think. I know we got a lot of Wraith owners out there. Um, I'd love to get some more Wraith submissions, too. And we could do, you know, more Wraith uh, showdowns like this. More Wraith battles. And then uh, Wraith Wars, that's what we'll call it. <laughs> Wraith Wars. And then, um, also, I'm thinking about doing, like, you know... Yeti battles and things like that as well. So maybe more bomber battles. You guys go ahead and, and get those builds submitted. Uh, other than that, thank you very much, Clay. I want to get up off of this one. Uh, other than that, thank you very much, Clay. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the next submission now. You guys give him some feedback in the comments and uh, let him know what you think. All right, you guys, on to our third and final contestant today. This gentleman's name is Kevin uh, Owery. Is I'm going to guess it's Owery. It, it's H-O-U-R-I-E. 
Uh, and I apologize if I'm saying that wrong, Kevin. Uh, he is from Raven, Ravensdale, Washington, here in the United States. He is 24 years of age, and he has been subscribed to Extreme Scale Performance for about six months. And uh, I appreciate that. Six months. Six months means you're still fairly new, but you've been around long enough to kind of get the hang of things and know what we're about around here. So, thank you very much for your subscription, sir. I do appreciate that. Um, let's see. He started building RCs in January of 2017, so he is brand new to this. That means I'm one of the first channels you probably started watching for RC. That is awesome. Shout out to you, buddy. Uh, 30 minutes or less is what he calls this project. It is Wraith-based. And as far as the detailed parts and paint list goes, um, let's see. Well, he says the Cajun interior floorboard built by Donald Jenkins. Titanium links built by Michael Newman. Spectrum 3-channel Holmes Hobbies. Uh, Trailmaster BLE Pro and Trailmaster Pro BL5. 40, 2700 kv waterproof combo wraith vanquish curries wraith uh vanquish c hubs knuckles and bbd axles stock wraith internal gears all right he's pushing them stalkers which i am too might have never given out uh hex is from team k and k along with most other hardware wraith transmission with hot racing hardened gears and a 6232 pitch spur and he's got a savix sa 1231 SG steering servo, Vanquish Products 1.9 method bead locks, and Proline boggers with uh, Crawler Innovations Deuces Wild single stage closed cell foams. Not sure what shocks, but they say RRD on the side, and uh, he says he still wants to put a RC4 RC four wheel drive scale engine and tranny in it. Which, if you do, it will no longer be eligible for scale works. Just a heads up on that one. And so, build classification this one, he well, obviously, it's classified as crawler U4 bouncer category. And then uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, he rates it a 6. Now, as far as who he'd like to give a shout-out to, he says he'd like to give a shout-out to uh, the guys at my local hobby shop, Remote Control Hobbies in Kent, Washington, uh, Donald Jenkins, Michael Newman for the custom parts, and Team k, &K Hardware for dealing with all the messed up orders I sent in and getting everything straightened out. Sounds like uh, he may have... May have gotten some good customer service from Team K and K. So awesome! Team K and K is a great company, by the way. Shout out to Team K and K. I use their hardware as well. Now let's go ahead and dig into this, man. I'm gonna just take. Whoop! Didn't mean to hit that wrong button. All right, there we go. First things first. Good looking pup in the background there. Um, now what do I gotta say right off the bat? Your cage is awesome, dude. <laughs> your cage looks killer. Uh, I would love to have a cage like that. Looks like the uh, top part is even removable so that if you do have a front mounted motor setup, which by the way I should say you can do with all axial stuff, uh, you don't have to go um, you know, swapping it all out and sacrificing your transmission. You can use your transmission to actually still get a forward motor mod in there. Uh, there's several ways you can go about doing it. You can do an anti-spur setup like I do, or you can even use the uh, GCM stuff to do a front motor conversion, but you'll probably have to come up with some of your own bracketry given your own custom chassis here, but that's all right. Looks like you have a welder or something at your disposal, so uh, it would be pretty easy to do, honestly, and then you would still be legal for Scale Wars. Now, I love that you have your shock tabs here. These RRD shocks, not sure what they are either, but... Uh, they look pretty good, honestly. They look pretty scale for the most part. Um, that's the issue with a lot of people's wraiths and stuff is they put these really big oversized shocks on there and then the shocks don't really look scale. If you look at most rock bouncers and buggies and stuff in real life, they have like, you know, really like the outside, the actual outer diameter of the shock is really not that big, you know, like when you compare it to these RC ones, the, in, like the proportions are usually just not there. So. Um, these look pretty good for the most part. Not too bad. I mean, yeah, not too bad. If they were internal sprung, then it'd look even better. But looking good. And then what am I seeing here? Um, Corbo seats. Looks like you painted them up black. Look good. Uh, looks like you got a OSH here for the passenger to hold on to. Sorry, guys, I'm blowing up. Um, I can see some... It looks like motor wires here from your brushless setup. Might want to try to hide those just a little bit better. 
Um, that's the hard part when it comes to these open caged buggies like this. It is really hard to hide everything. But what you can do is you can do inner panels. That's one way. You know, you drill some holes and use zip ties and do some inner panels. Leave the cage work on the outside, panels on the inside. Looks really good. Um, and you don't have to do it everywhere. You can just do it in this little section right here like it's protecting the feet or something from rocks being thrown in from the tires, right? And that'll help hide some of that there. Uh, there's a few ways to go about it. Um, it will look cool though once you get an engine or something up in there. Uh, just like the other two guys, I would say scale hubs uh, and scale hardware would look great on these wheels. Looks like you're missing some hardware there. Yeah, buddy. Get that Loctite on there. <laughs> Um, it's looking good, man. I like the bent links in the back. It's definitely a proper look. Um, all in all, my first impression is I dig it, man. That thing looks brutal. So let's go ahead and switch through some other photos here and see what we're working with. Uh, here's a top-down shot. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. I love the center console. It looks awesome. Uh, looks like you got some sort of tank going on in the back. That looks good. Yeah. Not too bad, man. Obviously, I can tell you're not finished. You're just getting started here. But once uh, this is finished, I bet it's going to be killer, man. Mm, looks like you've been driving it, too. I can see some scratches on there. <laughs> Next one. Um, Looking good. These tires are brand new. They are not dirty at all. So maybe you haven't been driving it that much. Uh, or maybe you drove it and you just put these new tires on there. But... Yeah, it's looking pretty good, man. Again, you know, just hiding stuff on the side right here. You could definitely do some panel work that would hide a lot of that. Um, I like that it's all black. The whole black on black look would be cool. The green, eh, I actually kind of like it. I think it's cool, but I think you should tie it in in other places. You know, you should carry that green theme throughout it. Not in a cheesy manner, though. I think that, you know, maybe throwing, uh, you know, like a little splash of green down here on your wheels, maybe painting the inside of the circles you know the inside of those circles paint those green right that would look awesome um, in the back that's the same place where I put my battery on mine too and I know it's hard to hide the wires right there but uh, you got to figure out something some way to hide those wires uh, if you can hide the wires to the battery it would definitely help bring this to life make it look a lot more realistic Hiding wires is just, that's the killer on this. That's going to be the hardest thing to do. And I'm curious where your steering wheel is. <laughs> getting a steering wheel in there and uh, getting some seat belts would be awesome as well. That goes for the other guys too. They could all benefit from some seat belts. But yeah, just little things. You know, I'm trying to help out, give you some tips here, some things that just are popping into my mind. Uh, all in all though, I mean, this thing is killer. I really want one of these cages. I mean, you guys know I'm a huge Mad Ram 11 fan, so these things go like hand in hand with that. Um, looking good underneath. Panel's a little crooked, but pretty cool. Uh, I like that you got all the uh, companies you're repping for on there. Holmes Hobbies, Team K and K, Axial, Curry. You know, shout out to all them guys, man. Those are those are all guys I mess with myself. Uh, not to take anything from the other guys, but you know, I mess with them guys. <laughs> uh, it's looking good, man. It's looking good. It's looking good. Shout out to everybody. I'm really stoked you're doing this. Um, that rear axle has seen some action, dude. Yeah, I love that. Love to see the abuse on the axles. Um, killer job, man. This rig is awesome. I love that you got 1.9s on it, too. There's just, yeah, I don't really know what to hate on here. It's you know you're off to a great start. I think I've already mentioned everything that I would you know look to improve. Um, some lights, getting some lights on here would be another step. You know I'd start looking towards taking. Uh, there's a lot of cool light options out there. Um, so some interior lights, maybe some rock lights. Uh, getting some lights in your dash would be really cool. I keep hitting the wrong button. Sorry about that, guys. Is that a Domino's pizza thing? You delivering pizza on the trail? <laughs> that is awesome. Uh, yeah, you know, lights would be cool. I dig it, man. I just really dig it. Since you're rocking the green theme, uh, for that top bar, which you can see in that other picture there, uh, maybe getting, you know, green lights to go in the back and white lights to go up front for rock lights, that would be kind of cool. Or green light in the middle and then white lights in the front and the back. You know, that would be kind of sweet. Just trying to help out with some ideas there.
Um, there it is. It looks like it's not finished at this point. This was probably taken when we first was assembling it. Uh, you can really see the cage work there. The cage work is beautiful on this. Really like the cage work. There it is out on trail. Looking good. Uh, yeah, I think I touched on everything, man. It's just the same stuff, you know. Ooh, there we go. Back shot. I like that. You look at the curry axle is looking mean right there. Um, also, this tank thing you got going on, fuel tank, propane, diesel, I'm not really sure. I love how you utilized a hub for a, a like, kind of like a lid. That's kind of cool. Um, I like it, man. This whole setup is really sweet. I'm trying to find something else. If it, like I feel like maybe I'm missing something, but I don't think I am. Honestly, I think we can see just about everything here. And... Uh, some brakes, obviously, you know, the brakes would be helpful, but man, it looks awesome. Really, really cool. I really wish I had a rock bouncer cage like that. One of these days, I'm going to get one. Ooh, that's a nice shot. Oh, winch. There we go. See, once you get the winch on there, that'll bring that to life. Then get some gear up here, get maybe a couple shackles or some, you know, like a, a thimble or, or get like the worn, you know, pull tab thing on there I, I forget what it's called but there's a lot of stuff you can do when it comes to the winches to make the winches look cool and accessorized um i like it man it's cool it's definitely a cool rig oh we got action shot right there showing that it's really real catching some air and there's my man kevin shout out to you buddy rocking the murica shirt um your rig is dope bro your rig is really cool i like it uh, like I said, it's just minor things that I would touch up on getting the, uh, you know, getting the lights installed, get the steering wheel on there, get a driver. Um, what else? Hide those wires. That's really it, man. Maybe do a little bit more accenting with the uh, green because I really like that green. The more I look at it, the more it's growing on me. And um, that's really it, man. The thing is a beast. You guys uh, give them some feedback in the comments. Let them know what you think. And if you've got one of these awesome rock bouncer cages let me know dude i dig them they're really cool uh i hope we get some more of those entered in honestly i'm still rocking the wraith skid so that's all good and uh other than that you guys i think we are done for the day you know we got some awesome entries here i'm a big fan of these wraiths you guys know me i uh i'm a rock bouncer fanatic so this thing's you know this thing is definitely looking good to me um all of them are looking good i also like ultra four so hopefully we'll get some yetis too i do have a few of them but i'd like to see some more before i do a yeti uh focused video and then yeah you guys thank you very much for watching i think that's it i'm just gonna keep rambling so uh enjoy your saturday enjoy your weekend be safe out there don't look at the eclipse with uh you know out some good glasses or something you know get some eclipse glasses something right don't don't mess your eyes up but uh you guys enjoy the weekend i know i'm gonna try to thank you very much for watching you know what it is fam peace and chicken grease yeah yeah